We're starting Unit 3. This is Algebra, and we're in Lesson 18 about integers and algebraic expressions. We're going to understand integers in this video. We're at Lesson 18a, and there'll be video links in the description to help you. An integer is a positive or negative whole number and zero. It's a lot easier just to say the word integer. Can you imagine having to say positive or negative whole number and zero every time you wanted to let someone know that it was an integer? So, yeah, integer's short. We can use that. They are whole numbers, so they're not fractions or decimals. They're positive and negative whole numbers. Positive and negative fractions and decimals are called rational numbers. We're going to get into those in the future. Right now, we're just dealing with the whole numbers, the integers. And they're signed whole numbers. They'll have a negative sign or a positive sign. They'll have a minus sign or a plus sign. But positive integers, positive numbers, are understood to be positive if there's no sign. So if we see a 3, we know it's positive 3. Okay? You're going to see a minus sign in front of it, then you know it's a negative 3. So on a number line, when we look at negative and positive numbers, the negative numbers are to the left of 0, and the positive numbers are to the right of 0. And the farther we move to the right, the values increase. And the farther we move to the left, the values decrease. Negative numbers are always written with a minus sign in front of them. So negative 3 is, looks like a minus 3. That means it's 3 less than 0. So here's 0, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3 less than 0. We're at negative 3. See? And 0 is not positive or negative. It's just 0, but it is an integer. Our number line can be written vertically. We've got above 0 are positive numbers, and below 0 are the negative numbers. So you can think of this as 0 is the water level. It's the water line. It's sea level. And each increment above the water is positive, and below water is negative. See? So you can go dive or jump, couldn't you? And on a number line, if you look on each side of 0, it kind of looks like a mirror of numbers, except these have negatives. Each integer has an inverse on the other side of 0 that is the same amount of hops away from 0. So negative 1 is one hop away from 0, just like positive 1 is. Negative 4 is four hops away from 0, just like positive 4 is. So it doesn't matter what number you pick, which integer you pick, it's going to have an opposite on the other side of zero that's the same number of hops away. And the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. So you're going to see some numbers that might have bars like this on each side of them. That means the absolute value of negative five. That means how many hops from zero is negative five. It's one, two, three, four, five hops away. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. It's still just five hops away from zero. See, it doesn't matter which side of zero it's on. It's still 5 hops. So the absolute value of negative 5 is 5, and the absolute value of a positive 5 is 5. It's 5 hops from 0. All right? So now you should be ready to do the skill focus on page 211. And remember, try to get at least 75% right or better. OK? That's less than 25% wrong. Because if you can do that, that means you have a good chance of passing the GED. All right? We're going to talk about adding and subtracting integers, these negative and positive numbers, in the next lesson, 18b. And I'm going to have links to an intro to integers from grade 6, 9.1, and Algebra 1, 2.1a, 2.1b, and 2.1c. So this gets a little more in-depth about the absolute value and the negative and positives before we start adding and subtracting them, okay? So this was a short little video. I hope it was helpful. If it did help you, hit the like button, and we'll move on to the next video and add and subtract them. All right? I'll see you there. Bye.